pigs, chickens, sheep, our livestock guardian dog. It is time for our long overdue animal systems update. The most frequently asked question I get in regards to our animals is how is the mama and her chick doing? Back at the beginning of April, one of our broody hens actually hatched a chick and it was actually two chicks but one of them didn't make it. And this is the chick all grown up here. She hatched from an Americana egg and there was a chance that her daddy was also an Americana. There were a few roosters in with the hens at the time, one of which was an Americana and he was certainly the most aggressive of all of the roosters. And she is looking pretty Americana-ish, so I'm thinking that she is full Americana. The mama hen and her chick were originally in this chicken tractor here behind me that's starting to get overgrown with weeds here in our garden area. We let the mom and the chick in here away from the rest of the flock so the mom could peacefully raise the chick without competition from the other birds. After being in there for several weeks, the mama hen got really tired of being mama hen and she was done. She actually escaped. She actually knocked out those milk crates that we're using for nesting boxes. She managed to knock them out and jumped out the back. We still had some pretty low temperatures at the time and the baby chick had not fully feathered out and I could not keep the mama hen in there. Once she realized how she can get out of there, she was out of there. She immediately started going into the chick shaw to sleep. So kind of lost her as mama hen. I put the baby chick in the chick shaw with the rest of the birds, but she really didn't know what to do. She was chirping and looking for her mom and she tried to cuddle up with her mom, but her mom just completely abandoned her. She uh, pecked her and ran off and didn't want anything to do with her. So I got the chick out of there and then I put her in this brooder. At the time our meat birds were in here and they were a lot smaller than her. Of course it didn't take long for them to get bigger than her, but there were there were no conflicts with them pecking each other or anything like that. She actually stayed in here for a few weeks and then she, when she was fully feathered out and ready to go, we brought her back to the flock and she's been integrated just fine with them ever since. As many of you guys know by now, a couple weeks ago, our main rooster tails died unexpectedly. The junior rooster at the time, this guy right here, our black copper moran, has now graduated to alpha rooster. His name is Frederick. Ashley calls him Freddy. He's a really good looking rooster. But he's just not as cool as Tails. No one will ever be as cool as Tails. <laughs> he's got big shoes to fill. Our YouTube friend Peoria Dude from the Peoria Dude YouTube channel actually did a tribute video for Tails shortly after his passing. I'm leaving a link to that video in the corner above and in the video description below. We'd really appreciate it if you guys clicked on through, checked out Peoria Dude's video he did for Tails. It was a really nice video. It meant a lot to us and we'd like for and we'd like to share it with you guys. So please click through, give it a watch and leave a comment below for Peoria Dude. You guys may remember from a couple months back when we had the broilers and the brooder. I'd mentioned that if you order a certain amount of chicks from the hatchery, they give you the option just to get a free, rare, or unique chicken with your batch. I clicked yes, might as well take the bird, right? So we got an extra chick with the broilers we ordered, and we didn't know which one it was for a while until it started feathering out, started getting black feathers on it, and not growing nearly as fast as the meat birds. When that bird made its first video debut, you guys, the viewers, broke the bad news to me that he was a rooster and not a hen. But we were really curious to see what he would turn out to, plus he was way too small to have any kind of meat value or anything like that. So we were just gonna raise him up and see what happens with him. When he feathered out, I introduced him with our main flock and they were excessively cruel to him. I don't know what it was about him, but it was pretty sad to watch. So he decided he didn't want anything to do with the chickens anymore. So now he exclusively hangs out with the sheep. This is Chicken Little, that's what I called him. He, 
Another appropriate name for him would be Blackbeard, because if you look under his beak, he's got a band of black feathers that actually look like a beard under him. The last place I had the chickens was just outside the sheep corral here, and he would run through the chicken netting because he was small enough at the time, and then zip right through the cattle panels to get refuge with the sheep. Since he found refuge over here, he has never left. He's never gone back with the flock of chickens. He has stayed with this small flock of ram lambs. He free ranges just outside the corral area, getting bugs and eating grass, that sort of thing. And when I bring in food for the lambs, I give them, of course, hay, that which the chicken doesn't really have that much interest in, but he does like their peas. So when I make the bowl of peas for the ram lambs, there were all the ram lambs at the bowl, plus Chicken Little, and now even some piglets are coming over here and eating the peas, which is actually kind of cool to see all these young animals all dining together. So Chicken Little is quite friendly with the rams. They don't mind him at all. He hangs out here all day in the shade. Ashley leaves a waterer out here for him so he has his own water. I actually often see him riding on the rams' backs. He'll jump up on their backs and just roost there and the rams will be walking around with the chicken on their back. If anyone knows what kind of chicken he is, please leave a comment down below. I have no idea what he is. He has feathered feet, of course that black beard, and he was in the unique bird category, so it's not a well-known breed, most likely. That is Clara the piglet right there, and she also seeks refuge among the ram lambs. A few weeks ago, we had that incident where we had a unseasonably cold and long rainstorm, and we wound up losing two of our piglets as a consequence of that. A few days after that, the weather warmed up a lot and I did notice Clara here. Of course, she wasn't Clara then, she was just Piglet. And I did notice she was struggling. It was not due to the weather though. She looked terrible. Uh, it was not cold out, it was not too hot out. She just looked terrible. So I took her in the house for a little bit. It's about 80 degrees outside. It's warm, sunny. No breeze or anything like that. She's not wet, but I found her lying by herself out in the, the pig area. Didn't look right because all the other pigs were running around. Last night, everything was fine. All 14 pigs were running around having a good time. This morning when I went to feed the pigs, it also everybody looked fine. And then around 11.30, I found her just lying by herself in front of the farrowing huts, which was unusual most of the time. They're huddled up. I picked her up and, and she was very weak in my arms and she is pretty weak. I know, honey. I know. She's not injured. She's been she walked around a little bit and it didn't look like she had any bone issues or anything like that. You gonna get up? Come on. Don't wait 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 wait, don't fall off, don't fall off. Come back here. A little bit of improvement. She's walking around a little bit. Right, little buddy? Why? I just scratched my foot. She almost took one of my foot. So what I'm going to do is put her back outside because she has no access to any kind of nourishment in here. At least she doesn't want what I've given her. So at least outside she'll have a chance to be able to nurse still if she wants. I brought her back outside and she started nursing from her mom. So I just thought, well, she's still nursing, so that's 
that's really the best case scenario. She's probably going to be okay. I monitored her closely for the next couple of weeks and she was she continued to be nursing every time I was watching for her and she was fighting for her position all the time. She wasn't giving up. She wasn't she she didn't look like she was having too hard of a time anymore. She started going down a hill again about a week ago. I found her outside uh, by herself, motionless, and she just looked terrible. She was really skinny. She was not growing at all. And I was watching to see if she would nurse. She was not nursing when the others were nursing. I tried to put her on one of the mom's teats when she was lying over to nurse and the other piglets chased her off and then later I saw one of the moms kind of chase her off. It, it seemed as though maybe she had been rejected to some degree. And she was very skinny, she had n no fat on her whatsoever. The other piglets were thriving and she was definitely failing to thrive. So I had to make the hard decision uh, as to whether I would just leave her in that state or I would have to start feeding her myself. Of course, there are no certified organic milk replacer options available to my knowledge, and I had to actually get a conventional feed for her that had dextrose and a, a list of ingredients a mile long of stuff you probably don't want to be eating, but it was either that or let the herd of pigs naturally cull her. This cute little face was looking at me so pathetic and helpless that of course I made the decision to help feed her. I was definitely not gonna let her die. Hi Clara, you ready to go eat? Do you wanna get something to eat? Come on, let's go eat. All right, Clara, are you all done? Are you all done? You ready to go back? Come on, let's go back. There you go, good girl, come on. So this is about the average size of the piglets now, this one over here, and you can see how much smaller Clara is. I actually have piglets that are a lot bigger than this one here, but again, this is just kind of the median. You can see that size difference right there. She is definitely the runt of the litter. She's decided to take a nap in my arms right now, but when she's not napping in my arms, let me show you where she does like to sleep usually. So right now we're in the sheep shelter, Behind their stock tank that I use for their feeder is this little gap between the back wall and the stock tank and it's full of the hay that spills over. And she likes to nestle right back in there every night. That's where she builds her little nest and goes to sleep. Shortly after putting her on the milk replacer, I was doing some reading and I found that goat milk is a decent substitute. So we bought some locally harvested raw goat milk and she's been drinking that just fine. To me, that's a much better solution than the milk replacer powder formula. This is our little piglet, Clara, and we've been feeding her goat milk now for about a week. She has doubled her weight and uh, really increased her activity level. She's doing really well. She's very smart, and I really want to keep her as a pet. I enjoy her, and she's spunky and fun, and she seems to like me too. Clara obviously is very cute. I think that she should have her own YouTube channel called The Adventures of the 
uh, Courageous Clara or something like that. Uh, she She's very smart. She figured out who fed her pretty quickly and I just think she's fun. She's cute and fun and has a good attitude and she makes really funny cute sounds. She can be the daughter I'll never have. Pigs, chickens, sheep. Oh, easy girl. Easy. Hey, 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 hey. Pigs, chickens, sheep. Our livestock guardian dog. It's time for an overdue, a long over... It's time for a long overdue... Oh, Clara, hold on. Pigs, chickens, sheep, our livestock guardian dog. Oh, she's flipping out too much from my experience oh, with her. Got dirty grubbies on me. This is our piglet, Clara. She's actually pretty cuddly compared with the others. And uh, we've been feeding her goat milk for a week now. She's doubled in size.